Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to do two things. I'm going to show you how to get your leaf compost that you've made ready for use and we're going to set up a planting hole with it. This is all you need. It's free. It's wonderful stuff and we're going to direct seed squash and zucchini plants. You can save a lot of money by direct sowing cucumbers, squash, zucchini, pumpkins, cantaloupe, melons, winter squash, they germinate really quickly, like in five to seven days, once the warmth of summer starts rolling in. So you don't have to buy expensive transplants. Leaf compost, leaf mold, or basically just compost. This is broken down leaves. I've been putting leaves in a bin for probably the last four years, and I use this in my garden. This is all you need to grow beautiful plants in your garden. Let me show you some of the ways that you can pen up or start composting down the leaf grow, and then I'll use it in a planting hole and we'll direct seed the squash. I already have lots of videos if you want to subscribe to my channel and check out composting. This is a basic pen set up for leaves. These all went in somewhere around late November. They're going to sit in here. Come this November, they'll be a year old. I'll move them. I'll get them ready for the following year for really my leaf compost. In the trash cans, if that's something you don't have space for, I put leaves into a trash can. There's holes in the bottom. And this stuff here is about two years old. And if I reach in, you're going to see just how beautiful it is. It's pretty dry now because we've actually had sort of a dry spell. So you could pretty much take this out, use it right in the garden. This stuff here is a little bit older. I've been digging out all the compost. That's what you saw in the beginning of the video. And this is a little bit kind of muddy but it's beautiful all you do is basically take out as much as you need spread it out on the tarp like I was just you know showing you the compost over there let it dry for a couple of days and then you incorporate this into your soil this is just wonderful wonderful stuff I'll be using the rest of this up this year the stuff in here will be dumped into here and I kind of just move stuff over this way. But you can set up a leaf composting system just by using some trash cans or a bin like this. And just, you, all you do is you fill it with leaves and you let it sit. You know, holes in the bottom for water to drain out, keep the leaves moist and just sit back and wait. Just a basic tarp. The stuff that I was holding in my hands that was really waterlogged is this. So I put it on a tarp. I'm going to fold this up, take it over to the planting hole. We're going to be direct seeding Black Beauty squash. If you can't find the seeds you need at our seed shop, please check out Bentley Seeds. They also make beautiful special occasion seed packets. They can really make anything that you may want for any kind of occasion. And again, check out Bentley Seeds in the video description. We're going to be planting up the zucchini right in this space. I have cardboard down keep the weeds suppressed. If you want to follow me and subscribe, a lot of videos from earlier this month on how to use cardboard and mulch just to get the bed set up for planting. Move some cardboard over, get a plant right into here, and the soil here, my soil is kind of clay, so it takes a while to get it set up. Nothing better, and you can see how it compacts, it's pretty hard, nothing better than using your leaf compost. We're going to just put in a couple shovelfuls of the compost. I mean, you can't get anything better than this in a store and it's going to cost you a lot of money. This is what we're going to plant into. I like to put in, let me clean these up a little bit here, move them over. We're going to put in a handful of any organic granular fertilizer as long as N, P, and K is represented. That's all you need. Just sprinkle that right in there and then mix everything up to a depth of about six, eight inches and that's going to set up the planting hole. Really, once mixed in, nice and loose, perfect for really planting anything that you want. And I do really want to encourage you, and that's something I'm trying to do this year, is to get started with composting. I understand maybe you don't have space and that's fine, but you have to really think about this as, yes, it's work up front if you have space, but a year from now, you're able to do this throughout your entire garden. So we're gonna take two of the zucchini seeds and we're just going to put them in, into a space like that. I'm growing this in the corner of my bed because I want the plant to fall out into the path. Saves me a little bit of room, but you could do this anywhere. These are going to germinate in like five days. About a half an inch deep, cover it over, 
That's all you need to do. Now I'm going to water this in. I'll show you how to do that with a water soluble fertilizer. And the reason I'm using the leaf compost one to condition the soil, worms love it. They're going to eat it. Uh, they will excrete worm castings. Great for your garden. This adds N, P, and K. Other nutrients. Throw in the organic granular. That sets up this space with a little more N, P, and K. And then a water soluble fertilizer is nitrogen, phosphorus, phosphorus and potassium that's immediately, that's immediately available to your plant. So the water soluble helps the plant get off to a great start. The leaf compost is there for soil life, soil conditioning, slow release NP and K, and the organic granular will slowly break down with microbes and feed the plant. This is all you really need to do. Just keep it well watered. You could have a beautiful zucchini plant. All right, so let's get to the water soluble feeding. These are cucumber plants. They were direct sown. I will link the video in the video description that shows you how I did this. But it's been 14 days since the seeds are put in the ground. And they already look like this. In another two weeks, they're going to be, you know, five times as large. So again, I want to just stress the point. You don't have to spend a lot of money to buy squash zucchini transplants. They germinate just as quickly as these cucumber seeds. And I think they establish better than transplants because the root systems really get set up to support great canopy growth, great leafy growth, great green growth above the soil. So it's a win-win. Less money for direct sowing, and I think the plants are healthier and stronger. So I put in two seeds. You don't want to be waiting around for one seed to germinate that's not going to germinate. So put in two seeds, and then I would thin it to the strongest plant. Zucchini get really large. You don't want to have two plants in this space. Also, this is a basic planting hole. You can set this up, you know, just like I showed you or in different ways if you have to purchase compost or something like that. But just put the resources in the planting hole. We don't have to fix this entire bed right away. We could do one, two, three zucchini plants along this side spaced out, another three on that side, and we could just do six planting holes and we can slowly let the rest of the soil develop over time. We could put down grass clippings and other things to build up the soil. Basic planting hole saves resources and zucchini and squash again germinate really quickly. This is fish emulsion. I am affiliated with AgroThrive. You can find that information out in a video description. I am just finishing up the rest of my fish emulsion and I'll be using AgroThrive pretty much going forward. Maybe half a gallon, let it soak in. The whole key to success when you are direct sowing seeds is that you're going to probably want to water this every other day and just make sure that top couple of inches is saturated because with the 80 degree sun beating down in here it will dry it up quickly and you want to just give them enough moisture so the root system can develop. That's all you need to do. It's the easiest way to really use leaf compost for any kind of planting hole and squash, zucchini, pumpkins, cantaloupe, cucumbers germinate in five to seven days. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and follow me. I'll show you how I take care of these plants and also show you how to grow food and, and tend an entire vegetable garden. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. Thanks for watching.